the inertia of matter. In the first law of motion, we see that the natural property of a stationary object is to remain stationary, and the natural property of a moving object is to keep the object in motion. A stationary object cannot move on its own, and a moving object cannot stop on its own. In both cases, object is incapable of changing its state by itself. This incapability of the object is called inertia. In another way, we can say that the property of matter, by which an object at rest or in motion, tends to remain in its state of rest or motion, is called inertia. This is why, Newton's first law of motion is also called, the law of inertia. The inertia of an object, is related to the mass of the object, the greater the mass, the greater its inertia. Types of inertia There are three types of inertia the inertia of rest, the inertia of motion, and the inertia of direction. Inertia of rest, the tendency of an object at rest to remain at rest forever, is called inertia of rest. Probably you noticed that, when a car starts moving suddenly, the seat passenger or the standing passenger leans back. It happens because of the inertia of rest. When the vehicle is at rest, the passenger's body is also at rest. As soon as the car starts moving, the lower body of the passenger moves, in line with the car, while his upper body tries to stay at rest. As a result, the passenger leans backward, in the opposite direction of the vehicle. A similar case happens, when a book is quickly pulled, from the middle of a book, arranged from the bottom to top. The uppermost books come down, but the column of the book does not break. This also happens for the inertia of rest. Inertia of motion. The tendency of a moving object to remain in motion forever is called inertia of motion. When a moving vehicle stops suddenly, the passenger leans forward. It happens because of the inertia of motion. When the car is moving, the entire body of the passenger is in motion with the car. As the car stops, the lower body of the passenger comes to rest, but the upper body wants to move forward. As a result, the passenger leans forward. Another example of inertia of motion is, when an electric fan is turned off, the fan does not stop immediately. Due to inertia of motion, the fan continues to spin for a while, until the frictional force between the moving parts of the fan, and the air resistance, stops the fan completely. Inertia of direction. The tendency of a moving object, to remain in the same direction forever, is called inertia of direction. For example, in a car, the passenger's body moves to the side, when the car makes a sharp turn. If you observe, you will find many more such examples of inertia in your daily life.